So I made this last year in June. Uh, what I was trying to do was make something super portable that can carry a GoPro uh, and not having to worry about uh, needing a balance charger when I need to charge. As far as components go, uh, for the FPV cam, I use the Cadex Ant camera. I'm using the Meteor 75 millimeter frame. I'm also, uh, what is it, using a GemFan uh, 40 millimeter tri-blade props. And I'm using the Happy Model X12 AIO with the built-in VTX that goes up to like 400 milliwatts. Uh, I also have the Crossfire Nano with a Rush FPV micro Crossfire antenna on it. Oh, and the motors, I'm using the uh, Happy Model uh, 1102 13500 KV motors. Now for the uh, GoPro mount, I'm using uh, those typical dampeners you can find and just random components and 3D printed uh, like excess pieces to put it together uh, just for the to compensate for like jelloing or whatnot. And then I also have the Tiny Hawk Freestyle P8 2.0 adapter so I can use the 1S batteries as 2S uh, for the portability reasons. All right, as for weight, I got this typical scale here and then I have a 50 gram weight just so you can see that it's kind of, I guess, calibrated. So it shows 50 grams here. All right, so um, I'm gonna weigh the drone here with the GoPro, uh, the battery, so just the full all up weight. And it comes in at 96.6 in the current configuration. Um, and just for reference, um, I'm gonna remove the little pack um, these are just mounted together or put together with some uh, double-sided tape. Um, let's see how much that weighs by itself. It's 25.3. Um, I have another one here, 25.1. And let me just get another one. This one is 25.3. So they all weigh around 25 point, you know, somewhere around 25 to 25.5 uh, with the little piece of tape or whatever I'm using to put it together. And let's look, take a look at the uh, Naked GoPro 8 weight here too. For those of you who might not know what it should weigh. So let me take it out of this mount that I just kind of put together. Um, so let's see. It comes in at 27.6 grams. And then the drone without the camera, without the battery, but with the mount and the battery strap and all that comes in at, let's see here, uh, 44. 44 grams. Now getting to the actual flight, I'll have the DVR and the stabilized footage here. I'm going to leave the not so pleasant audio in there so it'll give you some idea about how it's actually handling the flight. Now when I try to take off here, I go around the camera, but since it's front and top heavy in the current configuration, uh, you'll see a problem here when I pitch forward a little bit too much while going through the turn and heading to the gap on the tree. Aside from that, overall it's stable enough for slow and controlled turns, ascending and descending in height. And I got about a minute and 40 seconds to a minute and 50 seconds of actual flight on the 450 packs that I used. Now I haven't figured this out yet, but I did have several instances or problems where the GoPro gave me an error recording. And I could be a problem with the board dropping voltage, which is actually causing this problem. Um, and if it is, I'm not exactly sure how to fix it yet. Um, but this is all the uh, footage for now and kind of like talking over it. Uh, there's also additional DVR footage after this if you'd like to watch that.